today, um, with some hay charcuterie sausage, we have made this amazing um, sausage hash, which we're going to show you how to make. Can you zoom in on that a little bit soon? And also, I'll show you this in a bit up close. And as a very sweet treat, we're going to make So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I am Louise Wright and um, my business is The Woody and today we're going to be cooking on our wonderful Woody Fire Pits and I'm going to introduce you in a moment our wonderful chef, um, Sue Glory, and Sue will join me. But first of all, on our um, fire pit today we're going to be using birch wood charcoal. So we try and alternate um, one week with charcoal and one month um, with wood. So today it's charcoal to show you that. And of course we always use natural fire lighters to get things going. So I'm going to bring Sue on in here now and I'll get behind the camera. So Sue is going to show you how to do this. So come on in here Sue, what are we going to do first? And I'll take this up to, perhaps if I take this over here. So can you see, there we go, you can see that. So Sue, so what are we going to start, what are we going to do first? Okay, well what we're going to start with first is the um, potato and sausage hash. And it really is so simple. So what okay. I first of all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of oil onto the lid of the fire pit here. Okay. Just to get it warm, we can actually see where the main cooking, the oil has sort of congregated over here. So I shall do the cooking there. So I have got some hard boiled potatoes. Okay. And you can just hear the sizzle there. So parboiled, let's be really um, clear. What do we mean by that, so Sue? These have been cooked very, very gently and until they are almost cooked through. Okay. Because we haven't got much time today, we've only got 15, 20 minutes max. Um, potatoes, these aren't um, going to cook all the way through. So I've parboiled them and it will build up that much quicker. Okay, and so we've used some special potatoes today, haven't we? Because I mean, you know, there's hundreds of varieties there are out there. Hundreds of varieties, and it's very important to actually use for this type of um, dish that we're doing is a waxy potato. So something that doesn't really have much of a, um, a, a dry matter content in them. That's a bit technical, but um, the potatoes that you'd probably buy from a supermarket would be something like a Maris Piper or a King Edward, King Edward. Okay. Um, and they're more of potatoes that you'd use for making roast potatoes and they go fluffy around the edges once you've cooked them. Okay. Whereas these, it, it's a variety called Vivaldi and it's more of a waxy potato so it, it holds its shape so it won't break down. Okay, so we you want... You use the other varieties but you may find that they'll just completely break down. Okay, so go a bit mushy. Yeah, and go mushy, which is fine because potatoes are potato at the end of the day. So we're just letting these just sizzle up and just start to sort of get a nice little crunch on the out um, on the outer, outer side of them. Okay. And um, also on our cooking tray, I've got the start of our dessert, which is a chocolate fondue. And in the saucepan here, I have got chocolate, butter, cream, and milk, and that is just melting down nice and slowly over here on 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 the edge of the, the fire pit. Um, and it, I'm just going to keep an eye on that, and the chocolate will just melt down, and it'll all amalgamate. So we'll put that in. Okay. So right, there. So are... the next thing, how are you doing, Louise? Yeah, the, yeah. So I just wanted to get to show you how beautiful um, it's cooking around the base. So we've got our our fire pit, as we said, on charcoal. So that's we've had it going now for a little while. So it's obviously gone down to be grey and I can just see through the leaves that beautiful sort of red glow. So it's lovely and hot. So our lid to cook on, that is our cooking tray, our stainless steel cooking tray lid that you can turn over obviously and use the table when you're not using it. But we're cooking on that today. And that is about three, three and a half mil thick. So it's holding a lot of heat and it's an amazing um, cooking tray. So what are you doing there, Sue? So I've, we've got some lovely um, fennel sausages here from um, Hay Charcuterie. And I've just taken the skin off that one there and I'm just going to just cut it down into chunks just to go onto the fire pit here. Okay. Just like that. So are we brining this off? Is just this going just to brown a... them off, yeah. We'll just start the cooking process. So okay. they're just starting to sizzle. Okay. 
Oh, that's lovely. I don't know if you can hear that because it's a bit windy here, but that's um, that's beautiful. And then we've got another little bit of um, HR Cooper's, um, one of their other products. It was called Endura. 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 Now this is a, 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 a pot that's very similar to uh, the Spanish chorizo. Uh, it's got a little bit of spice in this one. So. Excuse my camera um, skills here, just trying to zoom back out for you. I'm not liking and that. Here's our have got a lovely selection of um, sausages, salamis and things. Just look, look at their website or visit them. At, one of the uh, local farmers markets where you'll get to have a little taste of these products and they are absolutely delicious. There we go, so getting back to it now. You see it all just sizzling away. So I'm just letting them brown. I'm just going to come in there and have a look. Oh, I can smell the... Uh, so that's lovely the way that they're cooking on there. So we've just cooking the potatoes directly on top of our stainless steel cooking tray and we've added the meat in there and at the same time our chocolate fondue has started cooking in our saucepan. So cooking... today. Well we just want it to melt down and using a pan as you can see directly on top of the lid is another great idea so it's, it's all kept separate but it means that you can do two things at once on here which is what you want to be able to do. So let's have a look. So remind us what you've got in here. So I've got double cream, um, some milk, butter and dark chocolate. Okay. And it is just melting it all together. Doesn't want to be on too high a heat. So we've got nice. it actually on the outside right of our... That's on, on there. Okay. So really, while we're just cooking, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Hay Charcuterie. So we're really pleased to be here today, uh, as I said, in the beautiful Herefordshire countryside. And Rod and Rachel are hosting us from Hay Charcuterie. And Rod is an amazing chef um, of some 25 years. And about two years ago, um, Rod decided to set up Hay Charcuterie, and did some amazing training and learnt all about it. And I'll share some pictures later um, of the setup here and all the amazing um, meats that they use. So they do a lot of rare breed they source locally and it really fits in with our ethos um, at the Woody of using local products and working with local people. So we're really pleased um, to be here and the taste is fantastic isn't it Sue? Oh it's amazing yeah. 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 So what are you adding now? Let's right, just, just get back to this. Some chopped, chopped onions now to the whole for the potatoes. Just keep moving them around so that they're getting starting to sort of get nice and crunchy and brown on the outside. Okay. You can see the sausages are cooking lovely. They are, and all the, beautiful. I'm just, just gradually working the meat and as you see the, this, um, the, I can never say, pronounce it probably the end. <laughs> and you know. And you know. Um, it's just breaking down, which is what it's supposed to do, and it'll just melt down into. Yeah, Rod the, was explaining to us, wasn't it, that it goes softer. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. So we've got the, uh, the, the fennel sausage there, just to that will just give it some real texture as well. Yeah, and great flavours. I know. It smells delicious already. Now I'm going to add some diced pepper, uh, red and green pepper. Just give it a little bit of colour. Okay. And I've got a couple of cloves of garlic, which I'm going to have to stand up and just grate these onto the peppers. Great over it. So this really adds to it. It's an amazing dish. So why we've chosen this um, for our Halloween and bonfire theme is that it's something that it's got a lot of colour, it's a lot of fun, and it's something that you can share with a lot of people. So it's, it's a really nice, tasty, warming treat to have outside. And so you can cook on the lid, um, you know, for the first part of the evening. And then when you finish cooking, obviously take the lid off, put some wood on if you've been cooking on charcoal like we have, and then have your bonfire, which is, you know, what this is um, designed for as well, to sit around. 
So really, so we're mixing it up a little bit now. Yeah, so. I'm just going to just really amalgamate it all together. Oh wow, that just looks amazing. I can say it, it, it's sausage and potato hash. So okay. it's not, you know, we are hashing it all together. We're just okay. mixing it all up. And this is a really nice one um, to do with the children as well. You can see that we've had hardly any um, ingredients with this, a really small number. So getting the children involved, being able to put it on. And for everyone sitting around, you know, a woody fire pit is a very, very sociable fire pit because you can all sit around, it's circular. You all keep warm as the heat percolates out through the oak leaves on the side. So here we are. So we're looking down into the fire pit now. And you can see the charcoal through and those hot coals underneath and how beautifully the lid sits on the top. So you can try this at home. This is something really easy that you can do. If it's just you, have a small one. If you've got your friends and family, just add more. There's no um, measuring out of ingredients with this. It's something that you can really easily do. How's our fondue coming on? The fondue's coming on. Lovely. You can see how the chocolate's melted down, it's getting nice and hot. At the moment, there's still some little grainy bits of chocolate. They will eventually just dissolve away. Okay. And it really is absolutely delicious. And the beauty about this chocolate fondue is that um, if you don't eat it all in one go, put it in the pot, fridge it, and have it the next day, and it'll be absolutely fine. Wonderful. Okay, and that'll keep, I suppose, for a little while? It will keep. I'm um, sure it probably won't keep because it's so delicious that <laughs> actually you'll have to keep eating it. So, yeah, um, it's not, not something that I yeah would last very long in our house. <laughs> Please bear with us if we keep knocking in and out of connection. Um, we are in a very rural location and if I just sort of show you um, behind us here, you can see that we've had um, rolling mist this morning. It's been, it's been amazingly glorious. So Rod and Rachel at Hay Charcuterie, they have a wonderful office in their shepherd's hut. And if I just walk backwards a little bit and try not to fall over myself, You'll see this is their lovely shepherd's hut, which is their office. And we are parked outside it today. So we are here cooking um, just in this wonderful, wonderful location. So I'd like to ask you if you've got any suggestions of um, places, food producers in Herefordshire that you would like us to visit or things that you would like us to cook, please get in touch. Either put in the comments below or get in touch with me, louise at thewoody.com and we will try and um, come up with some recipes for you. So, so far we've done everything from paella to venison, fish, wild rabbit, as you know, and some sweet treats. So anything that you would like us to cook, please get in touch and um, we'll try our best to, to source that for you and to have a go. So that's really coming on nicely, well, it isn't is it? It is actually, yeah. And we're sort of like, what I'm going to do is put the um, spinach on. We've got some okay. lovely fresh spinach, which I'm just going to pop that on the top like this. Okay. I'm just going to let it wilt down a little bit. Doesn't it's already been pre-washed and just the, the steam will wilt it down. Okay, that looks lovely. Look at those beautiful colours. This is a really full meal, isn't it? I mean, we call it sausage hash, but in a minute we're going to add something else. And yeah. so it's going to um, we'll really show you some of the things that you can do. So if, and of course, you could do anything on this. So if you just wanted to do the sausage hash without um, the leaves, you could stop there. You know, if you can't wait that long and eat that. Okay. But in a minute, what are you going to do now, Sue? So now I'm going to just add a beautiful fresh egg. Okay, lovely. Directly onto the leaves. Yep, onto the leaves. And so yeah. one of the things that, that we've done here, like a bonfire actually, is that we have piled up um, the potatoes and the meat into a lovely pile here, which has got some heat in. But also I think you said, Sue, that it's to stop it burning. But we've got, um, and so there's a lot of heat in there. And so we've put all the steams coming up. And so we're hopefully going to slowly cook those eggs there. So what did you just add? What did so you just, just add onto some, the top? Um, um, dried chili flakes on top of the egg. Again, okay. you don't have to put them on there if you don't want them. Okay. You could put a little bit of paprika. And now what I'm going to do with this now is just put a tent over the top of our 
um, hash. Okay. And that will help. So it's just made with a double sheet of um, tin foil. If you've got an old wok lid, you could use that okay. to put over the top. Um, and that's just going to create a little bit of a steam area. Okay. And it hopefully will just help to cook the eggs over the top. Okay, so our eggs are in there, they're cooking, and so this is this is a wonderful idea really, but you yes. know, for putting that. So you cook other things under there as well. You, you could, you could so do, it's yeah. holding the heat, you so rather than there. all the heat um, escaping, it's a wonderful way of holding the heat in there. So that's great. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching so far. Um, I think we've got 20 or 30 people oh, watching lovely. us now. You can see the lovely chocolate fondue. Look at that coming in there. That's amazing. And, and I'm afraid we have had um, a sneaky peek and um, tried the, um, the chocolate fondue and I can assure you it's delicious. <laughs> well, while, um, while we're here, I really want to share with you all some really exciting news in the fact that I go out to shows um, throughout the year and um, I am constantly amazed by the amount of people that really want to learn how to cook and to be outdoors and to use our fire pits and I'm always asked have we got a shop or a studio that they can come and see and I am delighted to announce that on the 9th of November we are going to open our studio does a little happy dance behind the camera um, so our studio and I will post um, more details about that we're going to open on this Saturday and Sunday the 9th and 10th of November um, so look out for details of that and it's going to be a place where you can come see our fire pits and I will show you how to light a fire we're going to do some cooking there so if you want to try before you buy or as someone very cleverly said fry before you buy you'll have a chance to come and cook on a woody yourself um, and to come and light it to see how it works um, in our studio so more details of that to follow and of course um, it is um, in Herefordshire and um, it'll be in Dorston so I'm really excited to share that with you so please come and see me um, and so there will of course be fire pits and our home and hearth range so that you can get your beautiful fire pit in time for that special Christmas present right okay back to it so what are we up to now to the, the, the fondue okay I think that is absolutely ready okay so it's all melted okay that's a lovely isn't it so Lord, let's have just... a really close up so that's so it's all got, yeah, look at that coming off the back of the spoon. Okay. So I'm going to just pop that into a bowl. Okay. So just beautiful. Oh, okay. Quite a bit. And this is a lovely treat for Halloween. So if you've got friends and you're having a party round, so, yeah, rather than just the, the normal um, sweets and treats that you have, you'll be able to serve this up and on skewers have some um, strawberries we've got the most amazingly huge uh, marshmallows there and you can get smaller ones um, blueberries any sort of fruit is amazing dipped in there so we'll try yes, that in a minute but first of all let's have a little look at that oh so pig in there the, wow look at that how the eggs are just starting to cook so it that's this a bit longer than a normal fried you know okay. fried egg because um they're not directly on the heat and we're we are we are outdoors and uh yeah, it is. They are coming, coming nicely, so what I'm just going to do is just put my slice underneath just to free everything up because it's almost ready to serve. Okay. Guys, anyone watching, um, and, and there are lots of you, um, we have lost the ability here to see any comments. So if you're asking any questions, um, my apologies now, it's not that we're being rude, it's just that they're not coming through um, because our connection keeps going in and going out. I'll just pop that cover back on there just for a okay. few more minutes. And, uh... and interesting to, to note, so you can see this is a 600 um, stainless steel um, fire pit and stainless steel lid that we've got and you, we're only cooking on about a third of that. So of course if you have got a big gang and you've got loads of people coming round, fill the whole lot. You know, and as we said you don't have to, there's no specific measurements. If it's just you, a smaller amount. And of course this works really well on the 400 um, fire pit as well um, and the bigger one if you've gone for the for the 900. So of course those are all available on our website which is www.thewoody.com or on any social media you can get hold of us at The Woody. Right Sue, let's have a look. Okay, we'll be there. Oh, that is so good. Look at that. 
So it's just a little bit. Let's focus in on those eggs. Yeah. So not quite there yet. Okay. Yeah. I think probably whenever we're always when we're cooking outside, whether it's on a barbecue, a fire pit like this, I think we're always in a bit of a hurry to actually get it cooked and eating it. Yes. And, and actually, it takes time, so we have to be patient. This is really about slow cooking, isn't it? it? Is this you know, remember yeah. that this is a really sociable thing. So get yourself prepared. Get a drink. Obviously, we haven't got a drink today. Um, you know, do you know what? Some mold cider. Mold cider would be yeah, it yeah, would. So exactly. you've you've got room on our stainless steel um, pit here. You had one with the chocolate fondue. Have another um, pan out there and um, do some mold cider. Get in touch with Newton Court Cider. Um, we've got. Uh, you know, we've got their contact details on our website as well um, and get some of their cider, it's amazing. As Paul says, we've got no pudding, Louise. Well, we're going to have um, the chocolate fondue in a minute. We'll eat your pudding. <laughs> so, another minute, do you think? And then I do think, you think yeah, we'll be so done? We're, we're almost there, sort of, again, and just hurrying it along. But, uh, okay. <laughs> and so, we've got two... Um, two lovely recipes for you today and these will be on our website later but as you can tell um, with Sue and I um, it's always about things that are really simple things that you can do without um, you know too many ingredients That's isn't right, it so yeah. and the beauty the, the, the sausage and potato hash I have we have got all the quantities in there but you know feel free to um, do what you want add more pepper add more sausage use different sausages you go go to your local butcher and, and buy their local sausages which you know, we all have different flavours and things. So yeah, wonderful. Just, um, just, sort of really just try it. Try this one yeah, and then yeah, try yeah, something else. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Uh, you could even do it with little bits of chicken um, yeah. instead of a sausage. Oh. But it really does look happy. I think we're probably I think we're about done, aren't we? We are about done. So right. Get rid of my little tent. Okay. Yes, because we're just over about 20 right, minutes now, yeah. so let's have a look. So this is probably the most difficult part, getting it in here nicely. In here oh, look at that. So we've put three eggs on here, but it, you know, if you've got a big gang, one each will work really well. well. Or just for, um, oh, look at that. <laughs> we are, as usual, starving here, so we like a good portion. Finish off with... Um, what have we got on there? Parsley. Okay. I like to go and put some parsley on there because actually you could um, take the whole tray off and, and just eat from the. Um, now that I like that tray. idea. Yeah. yeah. So, so if you've got a big table, yeah. you can have it like a lazy susan, couldn't you? you? Could do, yeah. yeah. Obviously, this is going to be extremely it is. hot, so, so be very, very careful. So good things to put under it is something like slate. Yeah. So if you've got a wooden table, put some slate underneath, yes. and it will take the heat away from you, That's and then just share it from there. Really yeah. like that idea, Sue. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. So, Can so yeah, do. do. Let's see what that's like. So, so while you're eating your lunch, um, we are eating ours. And as we like to say at the Woody, we have shown you how to cook so that you can go and cook for everybody else. That is really delicious. It was crunchy. The potatoes are crunchy. The sauce. The peppers are um, nice and soft. You've got the sausage meat and the egg just breaking out and just oozing over the uh, the rest of the vegetables. And dish. Oh, it's delicious. Wonderful. Right. Let's just have a quick try of the um, of the chocolate fondue. So, what do you do with a chocolate fondue? So, right. I'm sure yeah. everyone has had a go at a chocolate fondue before, oh. but if so you look, haven't, what you do is I'm going to get a, a marshmallow. A little bit easier. Dip it in the chocolate. Oh. Mm. <laughs> is that good? Oh, <laughs> right. It's delicious. It really is. Mm. Right. Well, we are going to leave you um, now and we are going to enjoy the rest of this beautiful day um, in Herefordshire. Um, the mist is clearing and we are here with our woody fire pit, our 600 mil. And thank you so much for watching everybody. And we will be back in November for our next cookout. And in the meantime, happy Halloween and a happy bonfire night. Goodbye.